Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 sub So today, guys, we're talking to you guys about the MLS. So we have our finals, our Eastern Conference, Western Conference final. Let's go quickly look back at my predictions and see how we did in the semifinals. And then, of course, we'll look at the finals, give you guys the prediction and preview. So remember, guys, if you're new out here, consider that like button, hit the subscribe button as well as we break down the MLS. This will be a short video around, guys, five to six minutes-ish. <laughs> And if you guys couldn't tell, I'm a bit, I'm a, I'm a bit um, cold. I have a cold right now at the moment. I just have allergies. It's nothing too serious, I don't think so. Um, you may hear some <laughs> sneezing and some cold symptoms, but like I said, guys, there's nothing to worry about. I'm, I'm fine. All right, let's do the semifinals. So where are we? MLS Cup playoffs. Okay. So as you can see right here, guys, this was the semifinals. Um, where I don't really like how this was presented. Okay, let me just do this way. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we have our semifinals right here, guys. So um, Columbus Crew won 2-0 against Orlando City. Orlando City did go down at 10 men. Columbus Crew scored two goals and um, extra time to see out the win. Orlando City eliminated. Cincinnati scored a late winner against Philadelphia Union Mosquera. Houston Dynamo beat, defeated Sporting Kansas City 1-0. Escobar scored the 39th minute and then Los Angeles FC Wenga scored against Seattle Sounders 30, 30th minute of the game. So we have our final. So in terms of predictions, I believe I predict Orlando City. I predicted Cincinnati. I predicted Houston Dynamo. And I predicted LEFC. So basically, I got three out of four. I only messed up with Orlando City. Orlando City was the only L I took. So let's go ahead and look into this, um, the finals. So we have our first game, which we got here, Cincinnati versus Columbus Crew. Cincinnati, for me, I think they are the team to beat. They have been phenomenal this season in MLS. I've been really, really impressed with them. I think they have been a fantastic. And I just feel like this team is very well defensively. This team is really solid defensively. They're very solid. And I feel like Columbus Crew, this has been a great fun. This has been a great one. To defeat Orlando City, to defeat Atlanta United, these are not easy teams by any means. I think this is where the road ends for them. And I think this will be a great matchup. Of course, it's an Ohio matchup. You know, both these teams are from Ohio, so this will be interesting to see what happens. I think... Cincinnati should win. Now we have LEFC versus Houston Dynamo. LEFC, man. Can they do back-to-back? -back? They're obviously they're the defending MLS Cup champions, and they obviously are the team to they're, they're obviously the team to beat. You know, they have been really good this season. Ruanga has been amazing for them. And he's the top scorer, I believe, in MLS. I just feel like for me, though, Houston Dynamo, there's something special with this team. This team has been phenomenal to get to this stage, and I believe they have been very, very what they have done this season has been phenomenal because I think this is the best season I've had in a very long time. You know, considering they were like mid table the last couple of seasons, and for them to be in this position, you know, winning the U.S. Open Cup against Inter Miami at their at Inter Miami Stadium is quite phenomenal. And I think Houston Dynamo for me, their midfield is amazing. Their midfield is amazing. So what's interesting for me is that I would say LAFC probably have the better attack. Houston Dynamo probably have the better midfield and defense for me because as much as LAFC were good against Seattle Sounders, the goalkeeper had to come up clutch. I think Crepo had to make seven saves on the day. And that's kind of worrying for me is that even though they're at home for this game, I feel like Houston Dynamo, for me, they're going to be resolute defensively. And <clears throat> I feel like for me, if Houston Dynamo can have a good defensive game, take their chances, then I think they can win this game. Because LAFC, for me, this team doesn't look as good as last season. I think last season they were much better. So I'm going to go with an upset on this one. And I'm going to go with Houston Dynamo to win this one. Like I said, though, it's anyone's up for the taking. And I could see this one going either way. I think LAFC versus Houston Dynamo is 50-50, but I'm going to go with Houston Dynamo to prevail on that one. So, hope you guys did enjoy these predictions. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Peace out.